Hi everybody, today I'm going to be making the female torso cake. Once again, another cake that sounds complex, but it's really not when you see how it's done. Here I have just a rectangle cake. <coughs> this cake, once again, was made in one of my beloved Pyrex dishes. <laughs> they really make good baking dishes. Um, perfect size. So just plain vanilla cake for my Pyrex dish. And what I'm going to do, she needs to be cut to shape. So to start off with, I've got two cupcakes here. They're going to be her bosoms, if you will. And all we need to do is just sort of cut the base off of them. Just so that they're not quite so high. And just try and make them even. It's it's not no great dramas if they're not 100% even. We just place them on the cake like that. Now what we're going to do is she needs to be trimmed around the breast. So where you've placed your cupcakes, just check that you're happy with where you've placed them. And then you're just going to cut around the cake, around the top and just get rid of that bit to start off with and then go around the same thing on the other side right out to the edge and then we're just going to get rid of this bit of cake Now, to do her size, to shape her in, um, like I said, I actually plan on, there are a couple of different ways that you can do this cake. You can actually have her as, like, her legs down here, so full body, which I will do a cake of. But this particular one, I'm just going to shape down the side, just curve her in just a little bit around the edges, and just... Round it off around the bottom. And then I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Once again, it doesn't have to be 100%. People seem to get a little bit obsessed with it being absolutely 100%. So we're going to remove that bit of the cake as well. Side of the board there. And before I pick her up and show you, I do need to I do need to stick a couple of um these are just toothpicks or if you've got skewers. This just pins her bosom to the cake so that it's not gonna shift anywhere. And just put one on each side and obviously you will very easily see these toothpicks when um, the breasts get removed. So that is the basic shape that you were looking for. Let's see, I can tip her up and her little bosoms aren't going to fall off. So now I'm going to go ahead and ice her. Okay, now I'm actually going to um, do the top of her in just white buttercream icing. And all I'm going to do is we start at the top and work our way down. Again, just our plain butter knife. Just bring it out to the front a little bit because we're going to colour this front bit anyway.
Once you've got all that smoothed off nicely, I'm going to go around the front side. Now that that's all done, looking good, we're going to go ahead and do the rest of her bodice. Now what I've got here is my, um, I've decided to do her red, so I've done up a bowl of red buttercream icing. I've put some into my piping bag, ready to go. What we do is we just we're just gonna go across the top here. And straight down the side, all the way down to the bottom. And I will actually get to the other side but basically it's just a matter of piping until she is all covered and once again this is one of those cakes that can be done in any colour that takes your fancy whichever suits you best And there is no particular order in where you start on on doing this cake. Um, you don't necessarily have to start wherever is easiest for you. So I'm going to go ahead and do a bit more of this piping and I'll get back to you very shortly. Okay, I've done around all the edge of the cake. Now I'm just going to show you with the... It, it really is just a wave that you're doing so quick and it looks really cute at the end so basically all I'm doing is shaking the piping bag up and down and going around it's not like you've got to stand here and do individual little dots all over the top of the cake this is Seriously, the easiest way to do it with it, and it, and it just looks so good. But once again, you can do it however suits you. This doesn't necessarily need to be piped, you can do it flat like I've done the top part of the boobs. But in saying that, I am actually going to go over that and pipe it because I've decided, seeing as I've piped the rest, it just looks a little strange to me. So I will actually go back and pipe over that part. And that's it, that is the bodice done. Now, what we do, just to make it look pretty. Now, just to make it look a little bit pretty, we're going to get this is just normal ribbon. And I'm just going to measure and cut. 
and I'm just going to do four of those. And once I've got them all cut, I'm just going to ice them into place on the cake. breaks it up a little bit. And just pipe just that stays there. Just pipe one little spot there. Okay. Right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm gonna make a a little ribbon bow to go on each end. Okay. Now I've got my two little bows made. I'm just going to go ahead and pipe the white on this first. Yep, change my mind again. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead with my original plan. And that's it, that is the finished product. Like I said, there are many variations to doing this particular cake. And I will do a couple of them. But this is probably the most basic. Like I said, this clip's taken a bit longer because I showed you how to cut the cake out and everything. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll attempt it. And happy baking, everybody.